Welcome back to Sadler Up Nails. For this video, I'm going to be doing a cute little Valentine's Day gel nail design on my natural nails. So the base color I am using is Moonchild by Madame Glam. And this is from their newest collection, House of Love. I will be using all colors from that collection for this design. Now I did you do two coats of this polish. As you can see here, it is a little bit sheer. So I did require two coats. And I do want to mention that I did already prep my nails, push back to my cuticles, and I applied Madame Glam's peel off base coat because of how often I do my nails. But if you want a long lasting manicure, you will want to use just a regular soak off base coat. And if you would like to try out Madame Glam's gel polishes, you can use my code BeckyTK40 and that will get you 40% off. And now I'm applying the second coat of Moonchild. This color is absolutely gorgeous. I could see it being a very popular, um, just basic color on my website for my press on nails. My other baby pinks are very popular colors, so I will definitely be adding this one to my website because I can see it being very, very popular, especially for spring because it is a nice pastel. So after I've done the second coat, I just like to come in with my long fine liner brush and bring the polish in nice and tight to my cuticles uh, before I cure. That just, I think it just really elevates your mani if you can get that polish nice and tight without flooding. So I did draw up my design and I do wanna do a letter on each finger. So I'm gonna start with the letters first and I'm gonna use Madame Glam's black gel paint and their long fine liner brush. This design can also definitely be done with regular nail polish. If you were to do this with regular nail polish for the black, I would use black acrylic paint because it doesn't dry on you as quickly and it's just a lot easier to work with on regular nail polish. So that is just a little tip there. Now for the letters, I kind of wanted to make them look like printed letters. So I'm just adding these little dashes, lines at the end um, to kind of make them look printed. Now for the O, this was so difficult for me to do. I probably had to wipe it away three times. So apologize. I did do it off camera. Um, but I mean, an O is pretty simple. It's, it's simple, but hard. <laughs> and then now for the V, I'm just trying to kind of mark the center of my nail. And then I am very slowly painting in the V and this angle was so hard. I'm not sure why I tried to paint my nails at that angle, but I finally flipped my hand over and it was much, much easier to paint with my hand flat on my table. And I'm just adding the dashes here. I'm not going to worry about the bottom of the V because I'm going to be covering that up with the roses. And this is when I realize that my E is going to be significantly smaller than the rest of the letters because of how tiny my pinky nail is. So I maybe should have done that one first, but whatever. We will progress and I'm just trying to do it as large as I possibly can on my little itty bitty pinky nail. And once again, I decided to try and paint at this very 
awkward angle. Not sure why, probably for the video, um, but it was difficult. So there is the E. And once I have those done, I'm going to cure that all for a full minute. And then now for the roses, we're going to use Astro Love Hardcore and this gorgeous deep purple called Synergy. And I'm just going to place those down on a palette and using a dotting tool, I'm just kind of doing uneven circles for the rose and this again can be done with regular nail polish while that polish is wet you're just going to come in really quickly with a lighter color and kind of swirl it around not too much because you still want to see it um, but you're just going to swirl it around a little bit to kind of make it you know look like the center of a rose now these red ones I thought turned out so gorgeous just with like the two different tones of red. Um, yeah, now I'm gonna do the O just to show you one more time. Now I did cure the red roses before I came in and did the purple just so that the polishes didn't blend together. So here are all the roses completed. And now we're just going to add a little bit of leaves using Green Energy again by Madame Glam and my long fine liner brush, my absolute favorite, favorite detail brush. I'm going to have to get another one. I have so many like duplicate brushes of all Madame Glam's other brushes um, except for this one, which is my favorite and I need more. So after I've put in the leaves, I just thought it needed a little bit of sparkle. So I'm going to come in with my silver gel paint and add a little bit of silver details onto the edges of each leaf. Then when I have all the leaves done, I'm going to cure that again for a full minute the um gel paints by madame glam do require a 60 second cure in an led and then finally we are going to top coat with madame glam's no wipe top coat i absolutely love madame glam's no wipe top coat and i'm so glad they sent me more so once you're done applying that we're going to cure for, I like to cure the top coat for a full minute, even though it only requires 30 seconds. And then once you are done, this is the nail set. I hope you liked it. Happy Valentine's Day or Galentine's Day. Please like and subscribe to my channel. I plan on posting so much more. Bye.